So what is happening here today? Today we're protesting the U.S. attack on Syria as an illegal attack and the excuse is chemical weapons but there's no evidence that the uh, Syrians have uh, been behind the chemical weapons. In fact a lot of evidence suggests that it's the so-called rebels who are actually just U.S. terrorist proxies who are behind the chemical attacks and there's a precedent for that. And uh, in any case, <coughs> in terms of what's going on in Syria, um, it's up to the Syrians to solve their problems and to uh, the people of Syria if they want any changes in their country. It's not up to the U.S. And uh, we know that the U.S. has bad motives. They always have bad motives. They've attacked many countries in the past. They've overthrown governments, been back behind coups and all that. So anyone who would think that the U.S. would actually care about the people of Syria would have to be pretty naive. So then what is the U.S. after? The, what the U.S. wants is, at this point in time, like first of all you have to realize the U.S. is trying to overthrow Syria for um, since uh, 1949 and have been unsuccessful. Uh, their latest effort was unsuccessful. The rebels were uh, on the verge of uh, total defeat and so now they're interfering under the hoax of fighting ISIS uh, who is actually their ally and who applauded the Trump attack and they because they want to be the ones who so to speak liberate if you could call it that Syria so that they can impose their dictate on Syria. Uh, one of the possibilities is probably trying to partition Syria, which is something they've done in many cases. So what, one of the things they're trying to do then is to try to prevent Syria from defeating the rebels. And this latest attack is just a continuation of it. And of course they haven't had any uh, actual success in getting a no-fly zone in Syria, so obviously attacking an air base and destroying a lot of planes is a similar way of trying to get a no-fly zone because they know the Syrian Air Force is one of their biggest obstacles to their terrorist proxies defeating the uh, Syrian forces. Well, I'm, he I'm here protesting that two wrongs don't make a right and uh, the bombing, the cruise missile bombing of Syria by the United States is a flagrant illegal act and should not be supported by Canada as, Pierre Tru uh, as uh, Justin Trudeau has uh, four square rallied behind an illegal and provocative act of war. But isn't destroying uh, an air base where there are chemical weapons being used against Syrian people a good thing? Well, we know that there's no chemical weapons on the Air Force uh, base, the Syrian government Air Force base, we know that. But I think the main thing is that two wrongs don't make a right uh, in the sense of whoever is responsible for the chemical attack, even if it is the regime of Syria, uh, it doesn't mean that another country can go in and flagrantly uh, use uh, tens of millions of dollars of, uh, of weapons to uh, retaliate. So what do you hope to see come of this picket today? Well, I'm hoping that people's uh, conscience will be uh, awakened to the contradictions, the, the severe contradictions between the uh, what the United States uh, says it stands for and what it's actually doing and further uh, wake into the contradiction between what true you know the Justin Trudeau Liberal government says that Canada stands for and what we're actually supporting we're actually supporting an illegal flagrant violation of international law